So, let's talk about the elephant in the room. This beach is MRE any day. <laughs> guys welcome back <laughs> it has been at least a month since i've seen you guys and i'm sorry about that life just happens it's busy so anyways glad to have you guys back and we are at the secret pine forest it's been a while since we've been here i think the last time we were here i did that 11 mile uh hike with the hot weather survival kit that i put together over the summer so yeah we're actually in a different area. We're not doing backcountry today. We're doing some, well, I call it the glamping, but I guess I was kind of wrong. It's not really glamping, but for me, it kind of is. We're gonna we're gonna sleep on a FEMA cot tonight. Uh, FEMA, Federal Emergency Management Agency. And it's a surplus cot. And uh, yeah, so cot camping to me is glamping, I guess. But check this out. Here's our view. I saw two vehicles here. One was somebody that works here and the other looked like a camper and a tent right over there. We are in the pine forest um, campground. This is more for like 
cars and RVs to back up into. You got a fire pit and a picnic table. So yeah, we're just we're just hanging out today and uh, it's going to be fun. We are also going to be showing off um, the FEMA cot as well, but I also have a new military surplus air crew battle dress uniform and we're going to check that out along with everything else. So the temperatures for today is a high of 66 and a low of 32, right at that freezing point. And it's all in Fahrenheit, of course, because we live in America. <laughs> so um, I also brought a sleep system. It's my Wiggies uh, Freedom Shelter or Ecotat Shelter sleeping bag. And we'll, we'll check out that. You, you guys know I always have all the cool stuff. So that's going to be our sleep system for the night. And I also brought a bivy sack as well, just in case. Um, the winds today are very, very insane. It's 20 to 30 mile an hour winds, but thankfully we are pretty well blocked out here, but I'm sure you guys are going to hear it in the video. So don't mind the wind if you don't mind. <laughs> All right. That don't make really any sense, but oh well. <laughs> okay. Guys, I'm really glad to have you back and, uh, this is going to be a fun adventure. So grab your popcorn, your soda or coffee, whatever, and uh, enjoy the show. All right, guys, here we go. Okay, here is the FEMA cot, and it comes in its own little carrying sack here. It's pretty nice. The military ones actually don't have a carrying sack with them that I know of, but here's the packaging here. Let me just bring you down here and show you. It's uh, Precision Kit Promotions Incorporated. But uh, yeah, just basically shows you how to put it together. It's real simple, US mill. FEMA cot. Oh yeah, it's gonna be great. <sighs> so here it is. American Red Cross. This is the FEMA emergency cot used in natural disasters and stuff like that. Now this one versus the US military one because that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just do a versus thing here with it. Or maybe I'll do another video on that. These have a little bag here on the side, which is kind of neat. Put your, if you're doing a camp out like we already put your headlamp in there and stuff. That'd be pretty neat. Now over here, as you guys saw me putting this in, the US military version or the US military surplus cot is a lot harder to get these to uh, snap in here. And this one I mainly did by hand. But uh, on the US military one, you almost gotta stand on one edge. Got a hot rod going through the trails. But uh, on the military one, the US military one, you almost gotta put this, these one of these bars, or not one of these bars, but some bar, and wedge it between here and pry it to get snap in. But uh, this is a little easier than the US military one, just if anyone knows what I'm talking about. So if you ever were to buy one of these, now these are rated to 350 pounds. I'm 240 pounds and this thing is, it doesn't budge with me sitting on it, so. Yeah, it is a, uh, it's quite comfortable. We're gonna have a pretty comfy night tonight. Look at them things move, a little scary.
right, guys, let's have some Pepsi made with real sugar. I've not been able to stop looking up since I've been here. And I've only been here for about 30 some minutes. And uh, it's just that wind's ferocious and the pine trees are just hitting each other. So I'm definitely gonna have to keep an eye out today for that. It's supposed to die down, I think, tonight, hopefully, but we'll see. But uh, it is what it is. We're getting out, we're camping tonight. So Clancy's cheese, cheese curls for a little afternoon snack. It is uh, just a little after one, I'd say by now. Yeah, it's 129. So let's talk about the elephant in the room. If you don't see that right there. I don't know if I've mentioned it yet, but uh, this trip almost didn't happen yesterday. Or I mean, it didn't almost happen today. Yesterday I got home from work and uh, taking my stuff out of my work, my work clothes and taking my EDC knives out. Yes, I carry more than one knife. <laughs> well, I happen to EDC the Cold Steel Spada XL. And I am no longer gonna carry that knife because it is way too dangerous, at least for me, to carry in my pocket anymore. And uh, that is how I got that. I was going in my pocket to pull it out and I wasn't looking when I pulled it out. And, um, my and it's crazy because the knife was folded and I still cut myself and I think what happened is when I went down to grab to pull it out it caught on my pants and it opened the blade up between the blade and the handle and my hand it got stuck between there and as I pulled out it sliced it or, or it was either when I went in or when I was pulling out and it sliced it right here I'd have two stitches yesterday evening and uh, not horrible but no nerve damage it didn't go that deep but it went deep enough that I needed stitches and I'll just show you a picture if you don't mind. If you have any young ones or anyone that's uh, a little queasy, go ahead and uh, skip past this part. But uh, here, here it is on my, what I did, if you can see that. Yep. And I will zoom out. You can see where it is on my hand there. It doesn't look too bad, but... And then here it is with stitches. Got two stitches on there. So yeah, that was my yesterday evening. <laughs> Thank God that uh, it wasn't any worse. It could have went deeper and got some, got some nerves, but I'm able to move my thumb around. So all is good. Could have been a lot worse. So now I gotta find me a new EDC uh, pocket knife for work. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you the life of Scotty survival. It's tough sometimes. <laughs> Looks like it might rain, but there's no no rain in the forecast for this for today. But there is a big uh, temperature drop, like 33 degrees. I think it's a high 66 and a low 32. But either way, it's beautiful out here, guys. And um, hope you guys have been doing good. And um, it's been a while. <laughs> but I think we're gonna have more cot camping adventures in the future as well i'll get back to you guys i'm gonna enjoy the uh scenery here for a while but there you go that's the elephant in the room for so far Well guys, I'm kind of taking a nap out here. It's just, it's just a wonderful day just to relax right now. But you know, we're, we are actually, we're sleeping on a real FEMA cot. And these FEMA cots are used in natural disasters. You know, if a natural disaster hits a city or a town, people have nowhere to go. They set these up into complexes for people to sleep and stuff. So yeah, this is pretty neat. But uh, we're not in a natural disaster, thankfully, so. But it's uh, pretty cool to experience sleeping on one of these. I'll catch you guys here in a little bit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some shut-eye for a little bit and we'll probably get some dinner going and go from there. So, see you guys in a few.
Oh, well, I got a little bit of a nap there. Not a whole lot, but I uh, was laying there. I didn't have my camera. I was letting some of the batteries charge, but I, the limbs, one of the limbs fell on me. A tiny limb, but there was a bigger one that fell next to me. And uh, it was this limb right here. <laughs> Pretty good sized limb. I don't think it would have killed me, but you guys can see those up there moving. They're not too bad right now. Just when we hit those wind gusts of 20, 30 mile an hour, I think there's more than that. Um, they're really moving. I mean, they're hitting each other. Not right now they're not, but earlier they were. It just comes and goes. Quite a bit of a wind barrier out here, so that's a good thing. All right. We've got our American made igloo cooler. <laughs> and uh, for dinner tonight, we're gonna have, well, we've got marble bread there. Got these freeze packs, some more Pepsi. We got some macaroni salad, Amish style. Some Walmart brand though. Some more, uh, this is a potato salad, deviled egg. And then, eat all these, but we got some beef patties here. Some Swiss cheese. And uh, we got some more of these little cute little miniature Pepsis made with real sugar. It's only like three in the afternoon, but uh, we'll get dinner going probably around five. But we're gonna cook everything on the Snow Peak stove. I've used it in other videos. It's a great little stove. Well, that one's supposed to happen. But yeah, there it is. It's pretty tiny. But uh, got the liquid of propane here. This one's nice because it's got a, uh, I think these are called exactos. They're just a push starter. Great little stove here. And over here we got the U.S. military uh, tray to eat our food on. And we got the uh, mountain, USGI mountain cook set. So this will be cooking the burgers in. Yeah, I think I, I needed to move my cot just because of that tree limb that you guys saw in the videos. It's basically kind of hovering over <laughs> where I was laying onto another tree and, and that and a limb fell from there. So these are widow makers out here. Pine trees are so tall and they just, they can flex pretty good, but why chance it when I can just move 10 feet away in a different direction? So I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting hungry. I've just been relaxing out here. Getting in the Word a little bit, reading some of the Bible, reading the book of Joshua, and uh, just snacking a little bit. But uh, we're going to get dinner going here pretty soon, so we're getting there. <laughs> it's almost 5 o'clock. I'm hungry. Let's eat. Can't wait any longer. A U.S. military mountain cook set. Uh, we got our beef patties here. Probably gonna be able to cook one at a time, that's okay. I 
think actually I'm going to use the stainless steel pan. I've not used this one yet. This would be perfect. Get the windscreen out here. That sits on there pretty well. Okay, yummy, yummy. There's some thick ones too. Oh, yeah. Nice and tasty. Uh, we'll get one more on while we're eating this one. Okay, dinner's ready. Heavenly Father, I bless you and I thank you for this food. I thank you for this time to get out in your nature. And I most importantly thank you for Yeshua. And for who he is in you and for who he is in me. And it's in Yeshua, Jesus' name that I pray. Amen and amen. I might be moving my cot again. <laughs> These trees above me, are, they're still kind of going. They're swaying. It's, I just saw another tree that's leaning all the way over to where I'm at now. It's not dead or nothing, but it just makes me just a little nervous. Uh, yummy, yummy. I didn't buy buns. I just used some marble rye bread we already had. But it's still good. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. This beach an MRE any day. <laughs> mm. I scorched this a little bit. Uh, you can't really see it, but I scorched it. I had it on high too much. Or I had it too high is what I mean to say, but it's still good. Mm. Oh, my God. Now... Get some macaroni salad. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is Amish style macaroni salad, just for your information, from Walmart. <laughs> Walmart sells Amish style macaroni. I highly doubt it. I guess it could be Amish style, but it's not made by the Amish, probably. Mm-mm-mm. I was hungry, I'm sorry. Mmm. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying the video and watching me eat. But, uh... <laughs> I'm having fun. I hope you guys are, too. I will say this. This winter... It was pretty lousy, at least in my area. It's still winter right now, according to the Gregorian calendar. I think March 20th is the official day of spring. According to the Gregorian calendar. It's pretty much spring now, at least where I live. Mm. 
I really want to get the family out and do some family camping more this spring and summer, so I want to get with the family more. So that's probably what it's going to be. My biggest goal is to get a hot tent so I can take my family winter camping because no one else will winter camp with me. But I think if I got a hot tent, they might, but maybe next year. Got to save up money for that one. What about you guys? What have you guys been up to? You guys doing camping in this, this winter? Any new gear you got? I've actually been on spending fast for a while. Like to save money. But uh, I give myself reasons to buy stuff so I can show you guys stuff. <laughs> But with that said, I'm going to get this and finish eating. In fact, just ramble on for a while. And uh, we'll go from there. I think morning time we might show the air crew battle dress uniform shirt that I have. I'll probably show that in the morning. But if not, maybe tonight. We'll see. See what the rest of the afternoon brings us. See you guys in a few minutes. Mm-mm-mm. A USGI sleeping mat on the cot tonight. Probably don't need it, but. And then we got the Wiggies uh, Freedom Shelter Eco Tat sleeping bag. This thing is really cool. This is a zero degree one, but uh, we'll get it on the cot. I'll show I'll show it to you guys. This here is an opening because you can wear this sleeping bag also as a poncho. Uh, there's all kinds of things. It's basically a transformer of sleeping bags as the tents are. So for all my new subscribers aren't familiar with this sleeping bag, I did a video, I think it was about three years ago, of this sleeping bag, all the different configurations of it. So I'll put a link up here in the screen and you can watch that video if you'd like. But this is it. This is the Wiggies Freedom Shelter zero degree mummy sleeping bag and i haven't gotten to use this thing a lot let me set you guys down here but yeah this thing it's a center zip and it's awesome i like the center zip but uh the only thing i'm not big on is the hood on these things it um oh yeah that's where it cinches it just the way it cinches on you i'm not not a big fan of it but it works for what we're doing at least but real quick on the back side of this here which is the base that are going to be our bottom you have this opening right here and this is for if you want to wear it as a poncho and uh it's cool though you got velcro you can shut it up so yeah it there'll be a link in the screen for the the videos for what this thing can do And we've got some birch bark to get our fire started tonight. I also got some oak wood in here from my parents' place. But I honestly don't know if we're going to really even need any of that. We'll probably throw a couple on there just so it can burn along because everything out here is pine. But if I put these on for fuel, they'll burn longer. So It's starting to cool down, so we're going to get a fire going. It's going on 7 o'clock, and uh, the wind is starting to die down, so that's a good thing. Birch bark, and we're going to use the survival lighter.
I forgot a few times about my hand, so I'm keeping that in mind too. I can't really do a whole lot with it, but uh, it's letting me know it's still there. <laughs> it's still cut with two stitches in it. Yeah, hope you guys are having fun. <laughs> A nice little fire. I decided to go ahead and put the uh, the oak wood that I had, just some of it on there, kind of a crisscross, upside down type fire. But yeah, it's definitely cooling off. probably sit around the fire for the rest of the night and call it a night and it's gonna be interesting because I've never slept on a cot out in the in the bush or the wilderness or or Illinois jungle whatever you want to call it but uh secret pine forest is where we're at so yeah it's gonna be interesting <laughs> you know like I told you guys I'm a I'm a light sleeper anyway so I'm hoping the uh cot's gonna be somewhat comfortable I don't have one of those fancy uh, Teton Sport extra large cots. It's just a surplus cot, uh, FEMA at that. So it's for made for disasters. Um, so yeah, but uh, yeah, this is fun. I'm, I'm looking forward to the rest of the spring and summer. I think we're gonna do some more campouts like this and uh, do some cot camping. Now, with that said. I did order me a tent for my military surplus cot, so uh, we'll be doing a camp out in that eventually. But I have one of those on their way now too, so yeah. Imagine that. <laughs> you guys will like it. I know you will. Oh man, I'll tell you what, it is. it's just nice to be out. It's been a month, and last time I was out it was, you know, we had that snow and I did that Morse Kohansky style shelter, that was fun. But this type of camping, I can relax a little more. It's just a little easier, a little easier to film too. So, but yeah. Well, I'm glad you guys are along. I am glad you guys are still hanging out with me. So, I'm calling the night guys. It's just a bit chilly out here. It's a little after nine o'clock at night. And uh I got the chills. <laughs> I ended up getting the bivy sack out, so because foot end of this sleep bag isn't fully closed so at least have something to cover my feet okay guys I will see you in the morning and uh, oh, it's just a little bit chilly we'll get some coffee going and uh well guys i'll go ahead and show you guys that uh air crew bdu so guys good night and uh if i don't see you in the middle of the night i'll see you in the morning good night guys
Good morning guys, and uh, it was a good night last night. I slept really good, and the reason why is because I slept in my car. <laughs> I uh, I fell asleep for almost an hour on my cot last night, and I just, I woke up, and I knew it was going to be one of the nights where I just toss and turn. Uh, I just said, you know what, I'm going to go sleep in my car. So that's what I did. And I'll tell you what, I slept really comfortable. Went ahead and brought the Wiggies. Uh, freedom shelter sleeping bag in so that was really nice just made it to a blanket so and just tucked my feet in the very bottom but yeah we slept good this is what glamping is all about right car camping cot camping electric heaters all kinds of stuff <laughs> this is gonna be fun well i'm gonna get out and we're gonna get some coffee going and i am gonna show you guys that air crew Air crew and battle dress uniform. So uh, it's coffee time. Glad you guys are still with me. Yeah, it says it's 36 degrees out. Feels just a little bit colder than that. <laughs> you guys remember back in the day, this is my old Soviet mess kit that I used in some of my videos. And I uh, I got this belt from, it's a women's belt. <laughs> and I got it from Goodwill and I turned it into a strap for this puke colored Soviet mess kit, which is probably my favorite mess kit. It's, I think it's actually one of my first mess kits I ever bought. I don't know where I can find a nice yellow strap like this ever again. <laughs> I'm sure my camera's gonna go dead. I got coffee galore here. <laughs> I need to get these drank up. They're probably at least a year old. I'm hoping they're still good. Sure feels a lot colder in 36. So we got an old vintage military, US military melamine cup. So good morning to you guys. Mmm. That's just right. Not too cold, not too cool, not too hot. Just right in between. Oh, man. It's a good morning, guys. It's a really good morning. It's always a good morning when God wakes you up. You still got a breathing chance in you, so. Uh, well, I officially say winter's pretty much over for us here, which is fine with me because I was pretty disappointed this winter. I, I didn't get to do as much as I wanted to do this winter, but that's just life, you know, and when you don't have weather to work with, <laughs> you know, and plus, we had all those house problems, too, for you guys that see my other videos. So, it's been a very busy winter. Probably one of the busiest winters I've had in a long time. <laughs> uh, but God is good, and life is good, and I can't complain. So, uh, it's so peaceful out here. I've never been to this pine campground before. It's my first time, and uh, it is. it is. It's very peaceful out here. I mean, I've been here before, but not camped out here before, even though we car camped. It's still fun, though. I kind of like car camping. I just don't have an SUV or anything like that. I like to have an SUV, and we could do some some overland camping or something. You know, that'd be kind of cool, but 
All I have is a Hyundai Elantra, the gray ninja. <laughs> Tastes so good. Still getting to be a little windy still. That's <laughs> picking up already. I guess like I I'll show you guys my stitches here. I gotta change the band-aid, but I'm gonna wait till I get back home to do that, but I'll show them to you. I gotta check them anyways. I wanna wait to put a new one on before I take a shower today. Ugh, gosh, it just sticks to your in. There it is. <laughs> it needs to air out, it looks like. I need to let that bad boy air out. But yeah, it's not too bad. It's healing pretty good. Well, I'm going to finish this coffee and uh, wake up here, and then we'll go over the ABDU, and uh, that'll be conclude for this adventure. So here it is, the air crew battle dress uniform. Um, there's the size extra large regular. But yeah, it's it's really cool. I uh I got this for $22 off eBay. I got a really good deal on it. But it's got some unique features that the regular BDU does not have. And uh I don't know if I can keep it on the tree. Let's see here real quick here it's got these little um, velcro straps and that's kind of nice it kind of cinches it tight here you can pull it like that and it'll tighten it up I like that idea and then it's got a pocket right here with velcro I'm gonna set you guys down it's hard to do with one hand <laughs> Ah, some kind of velcro or something right here. I can, you can hear it, but um, it's for something. I will probably never use it, but yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's got a little tiny slip through pocket there. So, probably for some type of device. And here on top, and the pockets on these aren't button. These actually have zipper where the regular BDUs, they have buttons. And I like the zipper better. I like buttons, but zippers are just easier to use. You know, they're, they break a lot easier and they're harder to fix versus buttons, but they are easier to use. So I like that. They got buttons on, uh, on both sides right here. So that's pretty cool. Now there are different versions of these. This is the probably one of the original versions. I think there's a tan version and there's a OCP version or a multi camo. But anyways, so that's the Aircrew BDU. You got both those straps around the side to cinch it. And one more feature here, Velcro down the center of it. And then you also have a set of buttons again. You got zipper. Zip it all the way down. So yeah, and it's it's pretty thin too. It's not real heavy cotton thick. And this one's made by Carter Industries. Coat Aircrew Combat Woodland Camouflage Class 1 ABDU. So there you guys have it. And the last thing here on it, you have a pocket here on the left left arm, just above the elbow. And then you also have this strap. And they got these little pockets, like one, two, and three, right here. So I don't know what that's, what those are for, but they're pretty small. You could probably put some pens or pencils in there, but that's about it. <laughs> but there you go. Well, guys, let's go ahead and get the uh, FEMA cot put down, and uh, we're gonna call it a camp out adventure overnight conclusion. Well guys, 
Um, my camera went dead again on me out there, put the cod up, so I said forget it. I get tired of that with these GoPro cameras. They just do not work good in cold weather. So I probably told you guys a lot of times. So <laughs> anyways, as you saw, that FEMA cot is pretty simple to take apart. It's a little harder to put together, but easier to take apart. It's much easier than US military cot to put together and take apart. So uh, in the future, I'm probably gonna be doing some videos on the USG cot or the USG, <laughs> the USGI military cot versus the FEMA cot. Okay, I'm back again, camera went dead. Keep trying to do this. <laughs> um, versus videos coming up. FEMA cot versus USGI, USGI cot, US military cot, and the ABDU versus the BDU. Sometime this year we're gonna do those videos. I don't know when, but. So guys, I hope you enjoy the video and I will see you guys in the next adventure. I appreciate having you along and I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you leave your comments in the video. All right, guys. God bless and take care. Bye.